All right, today's tutorial is a 2000 Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo 4.0. We're going to change the valve cover gasket. Here's our motor, and we are going to start right over here at the air cleaner housing. Got an 8 millimeter right here. 10 millimeter right here. And underneath, you're going to have another 8 millimeter right there on the clamp. I'll use a flathead on this one. It's a little hard to get a uh, power tool or even a ratchet drive in there. So we'll just use a flathead on this. We got this hose in the front. You can put a screwdriver behind that and kind of tilt your screwdriver to kind of loosen that up, which I already did. And that should pull right off like that. Now you should be able to lift up. Slide this uh, right on out of there. All right, next up here where our throttle body is, we got these three cables covering the valve cover gasket. This first one here, you pretty much want to hold this uh, from moving forward and just push forward on the cable and that'll come right off. Second one, same thing. You want to push forward. Ah, come on. There we go, just like that. And then your third one, you actually want to push towards the front of the vehicle to get that off. Just like that. If it's a little bit tight, just get a little bit of get a little screwdriver, stick it in there, and pry forward, and that's off. And the next thing we're gonna have is, and next thing is we got three 10 millimeter bolts. We're gonna have one there, one there, and there's gonna be one right down in there, and that'll allow us to move this bracket uh, over there away from the valve cover gasket. Now there may be some other videos where these guys tell you to take off these um, cables here and slide them out. Um, it's just easier to take these three bolts out, but now that I have them out, you can pretty much pick this up. You can see, slide it right out of the way. There's no need to go over moving all these clips here. All right, so now you have this hose coming from your valve cover gasket down here to the throttle body. I don't recommend pulling it off from here, because if you break this, then you have pretty much oil spitting out of the valve cover, out of the valve cover gasket there. Um, just trace your line down to the side of the throttle body here, and you'll see this boot. Now, because of the age of the vehicle, this rubber boot does rot out. I can see it's already got some cracks in it. But what you want to try to do is get like a trim tool if you have one and get it right there where the, the boot meets. You kind of go left to right with it, wiggle it up slowly. And you can pull up on that gently, that hose, as you're wiggling so that it comes up. Um, so, but I got my other hand occupied with the phone here. So I'm going to wiggle that loose a little bit and then see if I can yep, slide that up just like that. And there we go. That's out of the way. If you look around at your valve cover, you're going to see these 11 millimeter bolts every so often. And some of them are going to, if you see that one back there, you're going to need a deeper socket. Um, some of them you don't. So I would just grab a deep socket. Um, 7 16 or an 11 millimeter and go ahead and uh, see that one's a deep one there too um, for the most part up and down the sides here they're pretty easy it gets a little trickier when you get to the back but we're going to go ahead and start taking off all these ones on each side now these hoses you may have to slide out of the way to be able to access some of your bolts um, you can just push it aside and take note that where this hose sits on this clamp right here Pull it off of the clamp and underneath it there, if you pull that up, you're going to see there's another bolt down there. All right, so I got all my uh, small bolts out. Now the long bolts, the ones that are uh, like that one that are much longer, you want to just take note where they are so when you put this back on, you can put them back in the same spot. And when you pull them big ones out, that's pretty much what they're going to look like. Now back here, you can see where you're, uh, we'll just say it's parallel with this hose coming out of your valve cover you come down this is going to be a long bolt with the uh ground wire on it so take that nut off the top slide the ground wire off there's going to be another nut underneath once you take that uh nut off the top there's your ground wire there so just pull that up and go ahead and take that one out now with your 7 16th so we got all of our long bolts off and our short bolts. Now there's going to be one hidden bolt and I'm trying to, it's hard to get the camera back there to show you so I'm gonna have to tell you. Um, so 
if you go to the center of your valve cover again, this hose, and just come in like an inch, and then go straight back and feel down on the valve cover, you're gonna feel, it's, it's gonna be a short ball, it's not one of the long ones. And uh, you're gonna have to try to finagle your, with your finger, there's a harness here, you're gonna have to pull forward and hold this harness up on the valve cover while you snake a uh, socket down onto it. I got the one out of the back, and I'll show you a little uh, secret of what's gonna help you. Now, the original ratchet setup I was using was the uh, three quarter inch ratchet with a deep socket. And there's not really a whole lot of room, a whole lot of room in there. So what I did was I switched to a quarter inch setup and I eliminated the deep socket, got a short one and a really short extension and the quarter inch ratchet drive allowed this whole setup allowed me to actually go in from the side here feel around with my hand drop it down and i had hand room in there just to break it free once you break it free with the drive you're gonna have to leave the extension on take your drive off and and sit there for about three minutes and work that bolt out once you feel it get loose Hold your finger on that bolt as you lift it up in the back. All the bolts are out. Uh, one thing we want to do that's going to, a couple things that's going to, might prevent us from pulling this up and out of here now, is you have this wiring harness here that's in this plastic uh, casing. And you can see it's slid over top of these. Um, you just really want to pull up on these. Be really careful because these break. I can see this has a break in it already up here. Um, but be very careful. You just want to slide this up. And just try to move it out of the way so that you have some room to get the uh there you go just like that and now you're able to push this off to the side a little bit and another thing is too is you'll have your your heater core hose here all right sometimes this gets in the way um what you can do is uh get a long screwdriver and just pry ever so slightly just to kind of push this over and you could possibly do it with your hand too and you might not even have to you could try pulling the valve cover out and see if you're gonna to hit on this or not sometimes you may but with this clear we should be able to um, pull this up and out of there and be wary of your wire harness in the back sometimes that'll get caught up on the valve cover that big harness back there and make it a little bit tough to get out raise the back first forward see what we're hitting on up here you want to kind of tilt it to the left there now we're clear with the heater cord and our back is getting caught up in that harness like I thought There we go. So we kind of turned it to the right valve cover there. And uh, that's it there. We're able, we're able to sneak it out of there. So again, push it back. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, you want to tilt the back of it up first when you're pulling it out. Then push back on the valve cover. Then you want to try to turn it to the, to the driver's side and pull it right out of there. All right, so now you got your gasket here. You can pretty much just probably grab it with your finger like that and kind of it's just challenging with one hand there you go and just kind of lift up and it's getting caught on this channel thing here it's, again i apologize i'm using one hand here but there we go we'll just lift up and just pull it out just like that and there's our gasket now you can see the orientation of the gasket here, right? Everything kind of looks the same, but take note to the corners, how these corners are shaped. And it, it's actually shaped identical to the valve cover, so you can't really mess this up going back on. Um, if you do put it on the wrong way, you're surely going to notice right away. But um, 
just lay this down exactly the way it came out with the valve cover so when you put the new one on you just look at this and put the new one on the exact way so now that our gasket is off what we want to do is uh we're gonna get a towel or a rag and with some uh, brake clean or mineral spirits just some type of degreaser and we want to make sure that this uh our mating surface for the new gasket is clean so we're gonna go around and uh just clean all the grease and grime off of there i got my whole surface cleaned um and this side's pretty easy because there's nothing in the way here to clean and uh this is where a lot of people fail when they're doing gaskets and it's really pointless if you're gonna go through all this effort to take the uh, valve cover off in the gasket is you know when you get to these long studs it's kind of hard to get in here especially if you have big fingers to clean but if you're just cleaning the wide open surfaces and you're not getting your fingers in here around these bolts it's just going to leak and you're kind of defeating the purpose or if you just clean this side because it's easy and not this side um you really got to take your time especially when you get to the far back when you got to get around the back you got to get your fingers in there you got to get this whole surface cleaned next you can move on to uh your valve cover um obviously inspect it make sure there's no bends in the metal anywhere and look straight down it make sure it's not all bent up and uh do the same thing here with a rag and some brake clean clean that all right our valve cover is looking really sweet and clean and our new gasket set it's fell pro set got from napa and that's the part number right there there's our new gasket of course you want to just line them up and make sure that they uh are identical in which looks like they are all right, take note of the uh, holes on this side because that's the way that it's going to go on. Now we can put the valve cover gasket on. Let's see if I can do this with one hand here. So you basically want to uh, put it around the back first and kind of guide it down in here and make sure that it's seating firmly on there. And you will feel it drop into place. Just make sure that it's not hung up on anything. And if you're fighting with it and it doesn't seem to be dropping into place, one thing you want to check is, remember those two holes that were in the gasket? You're going to see they actually drop down. One in the back here drops down just because it might be caught up on there. Just make sure that they're dropped down on there. One in the back and then you got the one in the front up here. And once that's on, you can go ahead and uh, proceed to put your valve cover on now. Things are a lot easier when you're pulling them apart compared to when you're trying to put them back in. Um, so, if you remember the way you took this out, well, the rule of thumb is it kind of has to go back in the same way. So, remember, we had it up on an angle like, actually, I'm sorry, we tilted it this way and pulled it out. So, that's probably the way we're going to have to drop it in. Try to get it back in there. Tilt it on an angle. And then let it tilt forward. And remember, push back a little bit too, because we had to push back on it. And what are we stuck on here? Oh, there it goes. So the valve cover is on, and when you put your bolts in around the valve cover, I wouldn't put it in, put a bolt in and then tighten it all the way down. I would uh, kind of go around, hand tighten them all, or a little bit less than snug, just to get this thing so it, it goes down level. You don't want to crank one all the way in, then crank the next one in. All right, so do them all hand tight all the way around, then go around and torque them all a little bit more so you get uh, that that mates firmly and evenly so we don't have any leaks and also do not forget to hook up that ground wire back there while you took it off to the valve cover very important and uh, everybody does things their own way i understand that um there is different tips and tricks that different people do that's just the way preferably that i do it so hopefully i helped you out and if you could just for my time for doing the video if you could just hit the subscribe button below and give me a thumbs up i'd really appreciate it i'll see you guys next time